Hello. This tutorial will show you how to apply model-driven development in Unicase. First of all, please make sure that you have checked out the Unicase plugin into your workspace. We're going to add a class to the Unicase model and generate code for it. Hence, please extend the Arc Unicase model plugin and further extend the model folder and open the model.eco file. This file contains the Unicase model. Here, extend the platform and extend the model package as well. And we're going to add a class to the requirement package. So right click the requirement package, select new child and select e-class. In order to edit this e-class, right click it and select show properties view. This will open the properties view, which lets you edit the properties of the new creative e-class. First, give it a name. We're going to name it user story. In order to get, gain all the advantages of the Unicase model, select eSuperTypes and add Unicase model element as a supertype. Next, we're going to add an attribute to this user story. So right click it, select new child and eAttribute. And the name of this attribute will be approved, which is of type Boolean. So in E type, select E Boolean. Further, we're going to add references to other elements. So right click user story, select new child and E reference. And the first reference will be requirements, which is of E type, functional requirement. Change the up about to minus one. This will make sure that you can add an infinite number of functional requirements to this user story. We're going to add another reference, which will be a upper bound of one. And this will be the tester of this user story, which is of e-type user. Meaning that any user can be the tester of this user story. Afterwards, save the file, right click the gen model and select reload. The gen model um, is responsible for generating code for the classes in the model. You can just navigate through this, clicking next, next and finish because the configuration has already been made and it only needs to be reloaded. And in this model, right click the uppermost node and select generate model code. This will generate the code for the model for all the existing classes and the newly class, uh, new class we just created. After this is finished, right click it again and select generate edit code. This will create UI code which is required for Unicase to run. For example, the icons of the newly created model element is generated in the model uh, in the edit plugin. After you're finished, start the Unicase application. If you don't know how to do this, please refer to the start uh, run Unicase client as developer uh, tutorial. After the Eclipse instance started, you can now add the new model element in your leaf section and as you can see there is our new crea uh, newly created element so we're going to create a new user story and now we have all the attributes of the Unicase model element and we have our newly created attributes and references. Please note that we didn't change anything in the existing model, but only added a new element and are still fully in control of all the attributes and references. Thank you for taking time to view this tutorial.